What's up guys, Gamer here, and in this video we are going to be evolving my Medusa. Sorry for the lack of uploads in the past 2-3 to three days. Uh, I've been trying to get a giveaway up, which is probably up by the time you're watching this video. Uh, but if not, I'm still trying to work on getting that giveaway up. Um, but we're going to be evolving my Medusa in this video. Alright, there we go. And we are going to have to spend 20,000 shards. But we have uh, two 150s worth of gems. Um, which I know the odds are like less than like 0.01% of the odds of me getting Medusa in these um, 150s. But let's go ahead and just see. That's our luck. Just to see if we can save uh, 20,000 shards right here. Here we go. Uh, Shaman and uh, Assassin. Alright, so I didn't really expect anything. We're still going to be using the 20,000 shards that I got to evolve my Medusa. But we need to go ahead and go into the warehouse, trade fame. By the evolution rune, and now we need to. Where's my Medusa at? In the hero's altar. Uh, she's definitely here that I've been like holding off on evolving so long, just because I did not want to spin shards to evolve her. And finally, you know, I still have not rolled Medusa. I've had her for so long since she came out. I got her like the first week of that she was out. So it's time to just go ahead, bite the bullet, spend the twenty thousand shards to evolve her. And if I roll any dupe for, we'll be able to use those for double evolution. So let's go ahead and evolve. Actually, all right, her stats before, 4,500 damage and 38,000 health. So our goal by the end of the video is to get her back above 38,000 health and to get her back above 48 or 4,500 damage. So here we go, evolve. Spending 20,000 shards, which does suck, but I get shards so easily. That's not too bad, and any dupes I roll from here on out can be used for double evolution, which I definitely will not spend shards on for Medusa. Uh, not that she's a bad hero, just that I don't really feel like spending 60,000 shards to double evolve a hero. I wouldn't even spend 60,000 shards to double evolve Skull Knight, so that just shows I, I really value my shards. I really don't want to spend shards on, uh, spend that many shards on evolution. Uh, so here we go, evolving, getting one book back because we didn't take her up anywhere past 180. Uh, but here we go, gonna go ahead and evolve. There we go, there's the Medusa going from green to that like orangish uh, yellow look. So here we go, let's go ahead and level her back up. Her stats are so low, only 1800 attack and 28,000 health. So uh, the main problem even before um, evolution is that her health was just so low. 28,000 health, we definitely gotta get that up. So there we go, 5 star, let's see where she's at uh, stats wise now, where's she at now, 80, uh, level 80, 5 star, so her health is already way past what we started off with, she started off with 28,000 health for the evolution, or actually I think she started off with 38,000 and then it dropped to 20,000 when we evolved her, uh, but either way we're back up to 44,000 health, which is way past what our goal was, and then her damage uh, I already forgot what it was, it was like 4800, something like that. We can go ahead and afford uh, to level her up some more. So let's go ahead and do that. Level limit reach, 100, 6 star. Why is it doing that? Why is it taking me to books every time I back out? I don't think it used to do that. Alright, so 3700 attack now, 50,000 health. The main thing that we needed to uh, upgrade on her was the health. I wish we fixed that issue already. So let's go ahead and... Take her up to 127 star. Yeah, there's no way. I know that using this air before actually took us to her stats. Yeah, it didn't used to do that, so I don't know when they changed that. So 4,300 attack now, 56,000 health. We're just gonna keep on going until I'm out of books, which is actually gonna be like right here. Yeah, I don't have enough books. Actually, I will if I claim this right here. And uh, we're gonna go and leave her at 140 uncapped and Probably uh, I'll be sweeping her up the next couple days until she hits 160. There we go, level and reach just barely. So there we go, 140, uncapped, 8 stars. Gonna see where she's at now. Oh wow, it's definitely gonna get annoying doing that. Alright, so 4,900 attacks. So we definitely hit our attack goal. And we have 62,000 health. So we definitely du we doubled her health. And then we definitely uh, upgraded her attack a ton. So yeah, definitely going to be a lot more usable now, especially for building sniping and for Lost Battlefield. Those are like the two main places I use her. Of course, I use her in Expeditions as well, but mostly in Guild War Offense, Totem, and uh, 
where else do I use their Lost Battlefield? So yeah, that's 5-5 Revite. Um, I've had that on her also. As soon as I rolled her, I rolled her. Like I said, in the first week she was out, I rolled her. And as soon as I rolled her in the same video, I rolled 5-5 Revitalize for her as well. So it definitely was an insane rolling video, but I haven't been able to use her too much except for just in Lost Battlefield because of the issue of having her um, non-evolved because non-evolved her stats are just so low, but now we have her evolved. We have her stats uh, where they need to be to make her really useful. Her inscription is 86. Let's go ahead and inscribe her a little bit. Take her up to 89 inscription. I'll probably take that to like 90, 91, somewhere around there. Uh, just to get her stats a little bit higher. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We got, let's see, 8,000 almost attack total. And then like 107,000 health total, somewhere around there. Uh, so yeah, definitely a lot better stats now. And I definitely look forward to using her in Guild Wars. If you guys want to see what I mean by using her in Guild Wars offense, you guys can add me or add me on line chat. Um, that's one way. You can add me on line chat. Line ID is Young Super Gamer One, and I'll invite you to chat. And you guys can get notified when I stream. But the main thing is that I live stream on Guild Wars every single time Guild Wars happens every Thursday and Sunday. And uh, you guys can tune in on Pocket Live to my streams every Thursday and Sunday and see my Guild Wars strategy, see my Guild Wars offense strategy hit top five every single time. And uh, I am starting to use Medusa now in offense, which is the main reason I spit the bullet and evolved her. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to see gameplay of her, definitely check my streams. Uh, and I stream like four hours, three hours a day, every single day. So you guys can just tune into those streams, say, uh, hey, uh, can I see some Medusa gameplay? And I'll literally just stop what I'm doing, go and do some Medusa gameplay for you guys, just show you guys what the evolved uh, gameplay of her is like, rather than adding into this video, because I uh, have, I've used all my entries for every game, else so I can't really get gameplay of her in this video. But yeah, that's all you need to do if you really want gameplay, or you can probably just go on YouTube and look up uh, Evolve Medusa gameplay or something like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, um, I'll go ahead and link you guys to the giveaway that I'm currently doing. And if the giveaway isn't already up by the time this video is up, then just be patient. The video will be up within a couple of days. But yeah, once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video.